so Ted actually uh, took a baseball bat to the studio and broke your kneecaps with it. Yeah, no, started. that's why they're under the table that's right now. Sitting. They're shattered. My Bloody. legs look like spaghetti under here. Yeah. Well, we do that for every guest, so. It's how Ted you know, is, though. It's a formality. When I every time it's I've more been out for with Ted, Ted than just, it is for you. He just actually. trips people, kids, old people, and then he goes, "Ha ha, you're on the ground," and then he runs away. It's I've seen him do it like forty times. It and it and forty it is a clean funny. number. Mm-hmm. See, and no one's surprised. If I feel like it again, I'm going straight to fifty. What about after fifty? Well, I mean, then you got to go to 100. I mean, sure. Hold on. <laughs> so we went from 40 to 50. Yes. And then we're racking up 50. No, more. Well, because, like, you're tripping. 60s, you're tripping. Like, it, no, they're bull. technically they're they tripping. Are, they are, not, that's true. 70's not a good number. 80's like an okay number, but it reminds me of like I ate and I ate and I'm sick to the floor to remember it, memorize multiplication tables. Uh-huh. And that kind of makes me mad. Okay. Um, so that's why you trip people around that age. Yeah. I okay. mean, that makes sense. It's so easy. It is easy. And I'll they're like basically asking for it. I know. I try to help one across the street too, and I see him on the other side, and I'm like, ah, you can do it. Because wh- by the time you get there, I mean, come on. And they're and they they're you know literally they're literally walking around, and they're holding something that you could use to beat them up with. What are you a talking cane, about? A walker. Are we talking about old people? Yes. On the road. Yeah, and my proclivity to beat the oh, crap beat out of them. them. Right. Mm-hmm. The, the trick mm-hmm. is, though, you don't help them up because after Ted runs away, whoever helps them up, he comes back on inline skates with a hockey stick and he'll swipe their feet from out from under them. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you get them, man. Yeah. So I don't good. know how he straps them on like... so quick when he runs into, like, an alleyway. It's almost like a Spider-Man sort I'm, of thing when he, he rips the He doesn't open. even enjoy the first trip so much. It's more of, like, setting the trap. Yeah, mm-hmm. setting right. the moment when I'm, dre- and I'm dressed really high speed, too. I basically look like those guys that are taken bicycling way too seriously. They have those f- funny hats. Oh, yeah, the, the aerodynamic, the aerodynamic yeah. helmet. I got the glasses on. I got the really tight bike shirt suit. so you can yeah. see the mm-hmm. outline oh, of yeah. my, my glorious cock. You're rock hard um, when you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> rock, rock hard. hard. No, yeah, yeah it's it's yeah. Uh, it's sort of a uh, spiritual experience for me. Have you ever had a third guy come along and try to pick up the second? How do you mean, Charles? Well, I mean, you are you knock over the old guy. Someone comes along, some unsuspecting, I don't know, kid. Maybe they're 12, 13. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. They're trying to join in with me? No, they're trying mm. to pick up the old person. You come oh. in with your hockey skates, uh, rocking and cocking, so, slamming right into them, right? I, yeah. A third person okay. comes along, trying to pick what's, what is the next step. Well, I mean, I come in with my inline skates. Yeah. I've got my, my hockey stick, and I'm ready to trip. But what I've also got in my back pocket is one of those little rubber mallets. So it's like if Ooh, I see someone good. as I'm oh, yeah, exiting, going. I swing that behind my head for a swift exit. So that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the only evidence left behind is a rubber mallet. And it's like, we couldn't have used that to do all this. Damage. So there's something with your fingerprints on it that you're leaving behind every time? I got gloves on. Oh, my mistake. That was a I've got my, my high speed <laughs> blood. There's, a, there's enough that. blood on his hands that it doesn't, yeah. I mean, come on. Well, the blood police just know to stay away. anymore. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's funny that you <laughs> say blood police on my Police come hands. in, they almost think to help the old person up, and they're like, oh, right. One guy goes, oh, oh, he's yeah. a rookie. He doesn't know about the inline skates. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know yeah. he's coming right back. Well, it's funny, <laughs> it's funny that you say blood on your hands because, I mean, since I wear the gloves so tightly, it's not a single drop of blood has ever touched my hands, ever, except for when I cut my finger the other day. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. It was my own blood, was that your fi- Wait, was that your finger that you just showed to me? Is it good now? Yeah, no, it's Whoa. it's pretty good. Wow. So when we were oh, setting shit. up yeah. the, <laughs> when we were, now we're in real life. This was yesterday? The- this is like two days ago, actually. When we were setting up the set, Totally. We and were, this isn't a cover story this, uh-huh. as well. No, th- this is a real thing that happened. We're in real life now. <laughs> I can see your thumb. That's a very real yeah, It's, it's <laughs> a very real you. cut. Um, we, were, we basically went to Target, and we were over here getting all this stuff set up on the set. And I'm just trying to pull. You know how a lot of stuff from Target has got, like, those tags on them with the plastic? Most things, products, have tags. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm just trying to do the classic like pull off because you're too lazy to get a, a knife to mm-hmm. c- cut it with. And I do that, but there's like a metal ring involved in this tag. And it's I'm pulling it off ring. and it doesn't pull off. It's and then my idea. finger and this finger go like right through that little metal ring. Mm. And it just totally opens up my thumb Oof. and my finger. And I'm just like, 
wow, I'm bleeding a lot right now. Well, Eddie, we hope you open up on this episode of the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. Not like that, though, right? You oh, mean well, emotionally? That, that was a good segue. Maybe not. My, it was great, it was, Thanks, but I'm bro. I'm a little scared that he means. I hope my you hand. I hope you slide oh, on into the okay. Chuckle Sandwich right. Podcast with inline skates rock hard today. There yeah. you go. If you don't know who we've got here on the uh, the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast, we've got. Eddie Burback. That's me. Here today. Have I'm we here. We, did we start? I think I'm so. assuming. A, we didn't really have a real intro. We, yeah, well, we've we been did. going for about five minutes now. <laughs> yeah. It's a soft start. Eddie, you go. You introduce the podcast, please. Oh, Welcome back, like guys. Uh, you know me. Uh, I'm the host of Chuckle Sandwich. I've always been the host. Yep. Uh, true, from the first episode to mm. what episode are we on? The day he was born. <laughs> We're in the high well, 20s. To high episode, 20s. Uh, we're in the 20s. From the first episode we're to peaking. this one in the high 20s, I'm we your favorite. We don't know what order we're releasing them, so. Oh, okay. Um, then fucking. You could be last. Uh, well, I don't even know what last would be. Number 30s. Was. <laughs> Maybe 30s. Maybe 32. 32. Welcome back to definitely the 32nd episode of the podcast. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you for coming on. Was I supposed to introduce myself? Like what you I you could do? absolutely introduce. Yourself. I've never been on this. Well, I guess I've been on the end of it like once or twice. But I I do YouTube stuff. I stream. Yeah. I have a podcast with and, my friend Gus. And That's what it. do you want to talk about today? A lot of stuff. Yeah. Why did you beg us to come? Here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I was knocking at the door. You're I said, I know your here. content what week is happening. What do you want, man? You're finally here. I have been meaning to get you guys on, and before I say it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare say the words pyramid and scheme. It's a multi-level marketing. Oh. What happens is, what's that look you're given? It's, I'm not I saw. Look, I'm right I'm here. Not giving, this is my ambient face. It looked like you this exhaled and rolled your eyes. I usually no. have. No. no, no, he just looks like that. I'm He's breathing. Very... I, th- I was breathing and following a bug. Okay. Mm-hmm. So essentially what the business is, is you just convince your friends to give you a pool of money. Okay. And then they pretty much hand it up to me. Oh. And um, so, somewhere along the lines, we trick those fucks into thinking they're going to make some cash. Oh, whoa. Um, but if you want to sign in at you know the kind of ground level, no, then this sounds at good. one point you'll be up to where I am. I mean, I'd be good for that. I think my aunt did something like this once. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, your aunt is actually part of mine. It was um, a thing where... Is jewelry, right? Well, I mean, this was when my uh, my aunt was but a child. Oh, and they were in school, and they oh. said that to them at sure. school, "Hey, we're trying to raise money for school, and we'll give you a pizza party if you go around and sell chocolate bars to all of your family or these popcorn tins." Popcorn tins. Oh, you're talking about like fun. You're saying fundraisers are a multi-level marketing scheme. Basically, they, they are. Did they end up doing the pizza party? Because I've found, and from my own experience, that pizza parties are promised way more than they happen in elementary true. schools all across the country. That's true. You're right. And, and it's, it's, always a, it's always a snake sliver of, of pie. Uh-huh. It's like, this isn't really pizza. Yep. Because they just keep slicing. They're like, okay, everyone, take one. Yeah. Right? And you get a nice sort it's of It's pizza rations. Right it's there. not a pizza party. Yeah, it is. Seriously. And it's like- a pizza is like if you're not if you're doing a pizza party really rarely, at least give the child a full slice. Mm-hmm. Like, come on! I got a uh, my sixth grade teacher in the opposite end of things did the coolest thing you could possibly do for uh, like 2009 sixth grade class, and we he said he would give uh, the class a surprise if we were good for like a couple of uh, like assemblies and events. Mm -hmm. And then the week leading up to spring break, we played instead of going out to cold recess in the, you know, Illinois winter, we stayed and we played rock band every day and had a pizza party for four days in a row before oh, winter break. Awesome. That, that wow. it it was the, incredible. It's the best thing that ever happened to me in school. <laughs> that was the, that was the the Jeez. absolute. That peak. was school. Do you remember anything else? No, no. it's all six blur. times five. I pizza. Right. What Jimmy World had a song on rock band. Is that what the kind of question you're that asking me? So no, awesome. but I'm really jealous of that. It's that called sounds- the middle. I was forced to sing in front of my class. So if that if. Ooh. That, that sounds formative. That was rough because I was, you know, twelve. But yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Ask me to do math. I can't do it. I used to. Were you guys good at math, and then you weren't? Because that was my experience. I was never good at math. I actually didn't even take math my senior year in high school. I didn't either. Why? How is that an option? You can I do managed that. to. Well, because no, I, I don't want to do math. 
Well, I didn't realize I wasn't. Not I, wasn't a, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I've never heard of that in my no. life. <laughs> no, math. That's pretty much what I was. I had it where I was going to community college, and I was like, "Wait, do I need another math credit for any type of graduation stuff?" Because I was going to try and do film, and right. then uh, they were like, "No, you don't." I yeah, the Massachusetts. Do calculus. The, I did too. Yeah, the state schools in Massachusetts in require that that fourth year, but I wasn't applying to anything in Massachusetts, right. so I was just like, "I'm not going to do math this year." And it was the best. This How is the fucking fuck are you bullshit. Able to say that this I'm not, I never did. Math. I never ever did pre-calc. I, did you I do... started trig pre-calc, and that's what I dropped. Oh really? Yeah. Did you do calc? I never did calc. What you? So you're I've, you operate I... at a geometry level? Barely that. Wait, no, I did no, trig no. pre-calc. I, what are some shapes? Calc some shapes in dropped. the office right now, guys. No, I mean, some what, well, that's what we're educated Shape of the table. What? What's the shape of the table? Table a shape. rhombus, clearly. A rhombus. Yeah. Oh, a rhombus. Yeah. Oh, can you find the area of that for me, please? Sine sure. wave. Rhombus Sine times wave. rhombus equals cosine. Squared. Squared. Pyramid. Sine, cosine, tangent. Everybody knows these things, Schlapp. You don't need to go to class. Dodecahedron. Dodecahedron. Whoa. Wow. What is that 10? What is that? 10 12, sides? I believe. 12 sides? Is it 12? How many sides is that? I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm I'm all, all this talk on geometry level. Man. I don't know. No, subtract when that. have we ever needed it, though? Never. Some people do, but if you're in high school and you're like, I'm going to be an art major, yeah. then yeah. ask if you yeah. have to do more math, because you might not have to do more math. I will say, so since we're on episode 32 now, uh, canonically, this should be after. We did, the, we did the Dungeons and Dragons thing yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's very math-based. And I know I had to look over at your sheet a couple of times and be like, oh, yeah, six plus one, that's seven. That is math based. That is math based. That's true. And I did computer yeah. science in college. Well, I didn't have too hard of a time with that. Are you saying, implying that I did? No, it's fine. I mean, we're all sitting around the rhombus <laughs> you right seem now. To be, we're all comfortable. You <laughs> It seems like he waited for the podcast to say you weren't good at math. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it does, it does almost seem a little bit like I don't that. Know what you're talking about. Um, but you know, <sighs> to to change this conversation away from me and my mental <laughs> intelligence, um, Eddie, we actually have something special for you today. Right? On... Does it have to do with the cup? What? Because a, hmm. a minute ago I looked no, to see if I had actually, any water and you said we have well, a surprise. It's actually yeah, just a round nothing, of applause. We just wanted to thank you. Thank we you wanted to thank you podcast. yeah, for having us on. For I having us on. That. And by the way, you look you do look thirsty you though. You look parched. Um, so, I am. I mean, yeah, we'll just, and the, yeah, normally we, we to, we'll just pour you a bottle you. of the house. What the fuck yeah. is this? It's water, man. Let's just take a look at it. Can we get Oh yeah, hold on. The consistency is going to be like sludgy, right? That's what it looks like. Can we get just like a zoom in potentially borfy bory on what the fuck? Oh, is that this? looks good. That is anything but still. Uh, that's LA's finest. You this like is that? LA's finest. This looks like it's like that's some Los some Angeles kind of quivering, saliva. quivering water. Um, so this is something very, very delicious. Um, if we could just take a, a Aqua, quick aqua peanut. I guess I'll. How's this? I'll. We'll take a quick look at pouring this for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just water, really. It's just water. I mean, this, this just came from. Oh, the, this yeah. just came from the. This, well, it's right now. It's slowing down. It's trying to show off for the camera a little bit. Is this bit. a type it's of saliva? Water. That's what it, this. Oh God, oh, that's good. Oh, that's I good. Really get a nice, looking get at a nice this. drizzle, which is not usually the. Mm. Word oh, I use. genuinely hate looking at this. There we go. Top it off. Spin I'm the bottle so it doesn't. Yeah, spin the bottle. Yeah, nice. You guys gotta realize I'm the worst person. I'm not one of those guys. That's like, well, fuck it, I'll down it anyways. Well, what are you I, talking about? Hey, this is the building block. Eddie, for this for is, these were pre-poured and this was full. <laughs> so you can't <laughs> pretend. What the hell are you I don't know what you. This is the same shit. Said open the full bottle. We topped it off a little. I watched you pull a water bottle from under the table before we record. That's bullshit. You, you have right no there. idea what the so, fuck you're talking so, about. So, Eddie, this is what we've got for you today. Oh, did... Thick we, water. Did you talk about the... I feel like thick water has been a topic I heard of recently, and I don't know if uh, it's from you, Ted. We put it... Shlatt and I put it in cereal. Yeah, you told me, and you said it was awful. And now you you're going to put it in your mouth. No, it was delicious. It was delicious and viscous. I'm this looking at thick water for a moment. I'll take a sip of thick water, even so, if it's So, I mean, terrible. really, we all just have thin water. Yeah. So you do have thin no, water. No, that's thick water. No, this is water. What? Mm -hmm. This is, this so this, is water. So this, this is, is water. water. <laughs> Technically. It's, right. You're, I mean, what that is is water. Let me at uh, least just do partially. a little quick test here. 
So these are different waters. <laughs> Just looking at it for a moment, one of them is a slightly. I mean, you're not. You said yourself, you're not a math guy, right? I'm not a so, math guy. I don't really think I've stared into a lot of red abysses. Pizza Hut well, cups hey, in my day. Take a look at mine then, because mine is still will just be, thin water. I'm well, so I have a blue. Hand. I have a blue bottle here. Uh, so as Nalgene, you can see that the in there, yeah, in that's there. the thick water right so there. So I just want to say that you can also tell that there are bubbles floating around in it. It's so water. when you're showing. Examples, I can tell it that it's a different water. It's funny because the bubbles don't actually come up. To the <laughs> right, I noticed. The water, they just, noticed. Yeah. They just uh, hang out in there. Yeah, they're they're trapped in there. Uh, are, we, are we getting a sip? How, how you I'll are sip right it. now. So thick water, I will say, just smells like water. Yeah. Oh, that tastes like water too. You'll see. Theoretically. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it should oh, taste like water. No, it's water. really sticking on that's my just mustache. Water, bro. Is yeah. this actual question? Is it? When it goes into my body, is it just water? Yeah. What's, well, uh, my body didn't here's feel one like thing that. I will say. I'm it, not trying to fuck myself up for the I, rest of the day. Well, so my body, I will my body say has never violently that it has injected water. Has five calories. <laughs> is that the only difference? I mean, sure. The thing is, it's I like, like <laughs> I don't like the lack of confidence here. It's got one gram of carbohydrates in a serving of it, and eight. And how ounces bad could one mm. gram of carbohydrates be? Let's just see what the ingredients That's are. That's awful. Carbo okay. load. We got a big meat so tomorrow. So they start with artesian mineral water. Okay. Like and, moss. They, and those are just fuck it up. Those are just words to me. I don't know. Then, <laughs> I don't know in any way what that it means. It looks like they put xanthan gum in it. Okay. Calcium chloride, uh, malic acid. They put potassium benzoate and potassium sorbate in it to uh, to preserve. They the get a little bit of right. apple diap in there. Um, and then they have uh, sodium hexametaphosphate. In there as well. Familiar Less than two percent of that, though. Uh, See, this was sort of our stuff. our idea yeah, behind healthy. having you I'm with the thick water right is that a lot of the times when we have guests on the podcast, they ca- keep having to refill, 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 refill the water. Yeah. So this is sort of in one turn, we feel like a more viscous water will help keep our guests hydrated anytime, anywhere. Mm-hmm. Takes um, longer to drink. It takes a little bit longer to drink. Uh, There's a struggle. It's, it's versatile because it. it can. It can be hot, cold, or frozen if you want. Right, much like water, but can in we, a thick form. Well, it's can a we little different. It? Can you? Yeah. Actually, what's the difference then? Once it's frozen, then uh, it's just a, I mean, you can. Ice. I notice you are still breathing, so it hasn't congealed yet, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, which is good. Do you think if I sit more, it'll maybe cancel it out where I'll yeah, keep breathing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is so weird. How's that? How does that taste? Still not good at, on the third sip. Well, it's just water, hypothetically. What's weirding me out is it sticks on my mustache more than regular <laughs> water would, which is really off-putting to have like a very clear drop be more <laughs> solid. <laughs> no, I mean, it's literally partially somewhat maybe water. Well, I'm glad I got to try some thick water. Hey, Ian, can you give us a, a, a full definition of what thick water is? Well, I actually already looked it up because I you, thought we were well, headed in that direction. Nice, man. Uh, it's just shit. water to help people that have difficulty swallowing. So we sort of felt like you might have difficulty swallowing <laughs> on the podcast. Uh-huh. Um, what and- led you to that thought? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> to, put it, to put it bluntly, Eddie, it was the blowjob last night, you know? I, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. don't need to. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey. such a vile direction. Yeah. To go. <laughs> get him on. You got to get him <laughs> off. You know what they say about him. Um, Jesus Christ. But, um,. Yeah, I mean, that's thick water. I mean, that's the end of that bit, I oh, suppose. Oh, shit. You know what we haven't done? We haven't asked you, what part of the sandwich are you? Whenever we have a guest on, we establish that we are- I'm going. Uh, we are pre-established parts of the sandwich. Ted, you are- I'm, I'm the little butt pieces. Uh, he, Ted's the butt from loaf. The end of when you're done with a loaf. So we're you, assuming the sandwich for Chuckle Sandwich just has the butt pieces then? Well, it's just the bread that creates it, encloses it, controls it. Mm-hmm. Butt yeah. pieces. Okay. Schlatt. I'm the mayo. I understand. Uh, and I'm the meat. Okay, shit, I was going to say what, I wanted what to meat? be the meat. So you've started asking this, and it's fucking pissing me off that you started asking this question recently because it was never a problem. Until it was, we I realized we got it into a, a problem. We got into a real careful. set, and you what fucking changed. What if Eddie wants to be a meat? You can't just, you're taking he can, all I'm meat. not what taking anything. What if he wants to be anything. a sausage? What you've wants, had a sandwich with multiple meats. All I'm saying Eddie is Eddie can be I more mayo if he wants. You can be. Do you want to be? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, there Frankly, definitely could after, be multiple I'm meats. eating the sandwich, and I my throat is a little, it's a little parched. Maybe so, I could go for a beverage. Who so knows? What you're saying is, I'm the thick water 
in the sandwich. Ooh, do you want to be? Yeah, put me right right on the mayo, mix it together. Okay, yeah, it'll, 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 it'll stay there. I'm the it's thick th- water. <laughs> I'm the thick water mayo. They call that yum left. yum sauce. <laughs> 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 That's the secret? That's the secret. That it's can't thick be the water. Well, we do have another... What? We have that yum yum sauce? Yes, we have the yum yum well, sauce. Well, hold on. No. We, we have another food challenge for you, Eddie. No, Jesus no, wait, Christ. actually, we've opened that and it's supposed to be refrigerated, isn't it? So we probably shouldn't give that to him. <laughs> I don't know. That's yeah. enough for me to. We have a lot of things on set that you could. We have a lot of things on set you could put in your body at least once. It smells like yum yum. Well, but I don't want to make. I, Eddie's got to go to a, a show tonight. I do have to go, go to a show tonight. Well, got, <laughs> you're on. You're. On, I didn't say it. You just said it. This like is that. your show, bro. Yeah. Well, this is the yeah, show. You know, you're Im- you imitated me when you said that, That's but a, then you were making. You looked fun at of me Eddie. like I said I had a show. Tonight. <laughs> Eddie, if you want us to leave, we'll leave, man. I All mean, right. you know, I could just do the whole podcast myself if you guys want me to. I mean, that you came on. Sounds, that sounds fucking great. Are you going to do this no, right now? It's too much what? to stand up with all these microphones. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's too it much for the bit. Um, all right. So, Eddie, what drives you? What drives me? Hate. Just, God, just hate. I can relate to that. Of who? Yeah. Everyone. Everyone around wow. you? Thank God. I hear a lot with- uh, I thought he was going to say- a group in in particular. That no, good. no. <laughs> you, you were okay. expecting like him a... to be racist. Oh, I thought he meant a group like the Beatles or the Black Eyed Peas. Do you like the Black Eyed Peas? <laughs> I don't know if I love the way you're saying it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a slight enunciation <laughs> on the first one. Why is he emphasis on on black? I'm not, did I emphasize it? Sort of. It wasn't, it wasn't like I, 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 <laughs> I, I see where you guys are coming in, from, but I think that's just his his general cadence. That's my general cadence. Okay. Well, it was also the well, setup you, in the sentence I don't know if I like before. your general cadence. <laughs> there was a bit of a setup there, too. You 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 set yourself up for disaster there. <laughs> no, no, I was just on. asking him what he thinks of the black eyed peas. <laughs> Uh, they uh, did you ever go back and listen to their uh, oh, yeah. uncensored version of Let's, Let's Get, Get It Started. Started? Just wondering if you guys you guys knew about that one. No, oh, want to sing uh, it? I think a lot. No, of- <laughs> <laughs> you do a duet. I um I just started watching more Samurai Jack because I never watched it as a kid. Oh, Ooh. very. I good. didn't know, and I didn't Google to confirm because somebody mentioned it to me that Will I Am does the uh the Samurai Jack theme song. So there you go. I don't know. That's why that so interesting. good. I'm going to look. Or Ian, can you look that up and make sure I didn't just lie? But sometimes you just have to do that. It's when just you, lie on a podcast. I when agree. you were a kid, mm-hmm. I, used to, I assumed you were an avid player of Flash games. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Did you ever you play kid. the Samurai Jack game on Cartoon Network where oh, you kept jumping up, yes. up, up through like three levels and then the final level was to fight a, a cool? Mm hmm. I played okay. any any Cartoon Network Flash game. So he game gets I was it. Playing. He gets it. I was I, I mentioned this game to um, Aaron of Game mm-hmm. Grump, uh, and he had no idea what I was talking about, and I felt alone. Um, and now I feel very connected to you. I'm gonna throw I'm a glad. couple more out because I used to play those with my brother all the time. There was a the one we thought was the coolest was the Powerpuff Girl one, where you were like in big robots and you hit each other. I don't think I played that one. And then there was uh, there they were was all a, just so good. There was a mm-hmm. Ben Ten one. Yep. They, tra- they tried to do a, an MMO at some point. For Ben 10? No, for uh, for Cartoon Network, I mm. remember. There was a c- codenamed Kids Next Door one, Flight of the Hamsters. Yep, I love I Flight think of I did that Hamsters. one. I actually yeah, played it pretty recently. I found it online and I played it again. I was it, it had the, um, what's the fucking song in it? The Mountain uh, King song. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, the Will I Am. King. Yeah. By Will I Am. Yeah. 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 really good at that, yeah. yeah. Um, the Mountain King was so good in that song. <laughs> <laughs> he popped off. No, his... Did you did you see? Since we're on the tangent, uh, just yesterday they announced the uh, the like Nicktoons Smash Bros game. Yep, yeah. that is fucking. I love awesome. seeing that stuff because How do those you are feel about that. I those types of games I feel like are real weird like cursed memories for people when you grow up. Like, do you guys remember on that type of topic there was the. What the fuck was it called? Like Nickelodeon? Nicktoons was... Unite. You're talking yeah, about Nick- Nicktoons yeah, Unite. There's I know exactly two of them. what you're talking about. Where they like canon combine everyone. <laughs> where like Danny. I do not remember that. Sp- whatever one it was where like there's one where they were on an Battle island Volcano together. Volcano Island. That's where, I've yeah. got this all fucking locked yeah, in, Yeah, where man. like Danny Phantom's talking to SpongeBob and you're like, this shouldn't be happening. Wait, is that like a side scroller one you're talking about? <laughs> no, it's no, like it a beat em up. Like yeah. a top down. Oh, that oh. remember some sort of. You're unlocking shit right Some now. sort there's of Volcano Island thing. And it would, but it was on like a DS or something. They like so that. they did. This was back in the era where they'd make the DS game and pretend it was the same, but give.
give you like a shitty side scroller version of the game, but since you're a kid, you're like, are my eyes I think that, wrong? I think that's mm. the one I played. Yeah. And I played the whole thing. Um, there was also the uh, Nickelodeon iToy game. Do you guys ever fuck oh, with iToy? iToy? I loved oh iToy. What is God, it? Are you, dude, iToy ruled. It no, was it not, not. It was, <laughs> that was a piece of shit. The base one that came out what for a iToy? child. Yeah, the yeah, iToy, you'll, have you ever wanted to be on TV, Ted? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever wanted to be a star? It was a shitty camera that detected a little bit of motion, and there'd be games for it, so it would show you in your living room, and then they'd have like little, like there'd be like a ninja game where little ninjas would jump at you and you'd have to chop them, or you'd wash windows. And I was young, and it was great. And oh. they had a real cursed commercial where everyone's gathering in, and they're like, Jimmy's, I don't remember the fucking kid's name, but they're like, Jimmy's on TV. And then he, they all gather in, and then they go, wait, but if Jimmy's on TV, then who's this? And they look at the kid playing the game, and I like to imagine they killed him afterwards. Because <laughs> they just didn't understand what was going yeah, on. That that came, Ted came in on roller skates. That kind of reminds me of, um, I remember I bought this, like, Star Wars game. Oh, not Star was, Wars Connect, right? It was, it was an old one. It was basically, you know those little know. orbs that they used to, like, the Jedis would train with? It was like that, but it was basically a motion sensor, and then you had a short lightsaber, and I would play this on like a really small TV, and it was like, you would slice, it, but it had to be like 2010 or something that this was a thing, mm -hmm. so it was like, maybe before the Kinect? When did the Kinect come out? 2012? You sure you weren't just playing Fruit Ninja and your parents had started? It was basically like Fruit Ninja, except that there was all these levels and you had to fight like the you had to fight like Darth Vader and stuff. They I miss all those. I miss all those gimmick games. Yeah, this they announced so the Connect at the 2010, or at least did an in-depth uh, Connect thing at the 2010. 2010. E3. Wow. Yeah, just because I was making 12? E3 wow. videos. But yeah, they also. Do you guys remember those sports ones where they just give you like a bat and you just have to yes! swing it? Yes. I, uh, like I, the accessories and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh. I'm glad my dad at the time we had this box TV that he got a uh, like screen cover for because there were a couple of times where I'd be playing by myself and, and I would Wii? just uh, <laughs> no not but not even we it was just you'd, a real you'd wooden buy, baseball bat <laughs> you'd buy like a bat that had buttons on it or like you'd get a mat that had a mo like very basic motion football that you could do stuff for and you oh. just plug it in with like component cables and play a shitty sports they game actually... and I whacked my TV so hard Maybe did damage, but nobody noticed. Give so. You, yeah, so they give kids an aluminum bat and a four-second MP4 of someone throwing a baseball at the screen because they know it's only going to have to play once. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I sent uh, the fucking DoorDasher to the just the wrong place. Where did you, did you send him back to our BMB? No, it's I sent him to the same address in another place in Los Angeles. Where in Los Angeles? Like a completely different area. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And now I don't know what to do because... Because it's in the wrong place? Well, it's in the wrong place. I mean, place. it's not... <sighs> It's not what we were really looking for, but this does have five calories here. I just kind you know of found what, thicket, clear, thick Because of water. your failure. I already sipped it. I chugged it last episode. No, it's not going to happen. Chug the thick water. No, I paid for I paid for the goddamn food, Ted. Fine. But I'm pissed. <laughs> Um, all right, Eddie, me. I mean... You said that like I, was, I just insulted you. What? It's just, uh, <laughs> all right, I was Eddie. getting ready to... <laughs> Easy. <laughs> so, Eddie, what the fuck, What man? the fuck is Jesus. going on? <laughs> hey, folks, before we move on with the rest of the podcast, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is easy to use, totally customizable home security that focuses equally on the most up-to-date tech and a reliable relationship-focused service team. Instead of dealing with a lengthy ordering and setup process, Simply Safe enables you to design a system best fit for your space, and they ship it directly to your home. They've got sensors to cover every window, room, and door, plus a lot of great extras like water sensors, smoke detectors, HD cameras, and doorbell cameras. From there, your home is professionally monitored 24/7. If anything happens, Simply Safe's always-on team will call authorities immediately. Let me tell you guys, it's easy to rack up costs with other monitoring services, and Simply Safe's interactive monitoring service begins at only 50 cents per day. Simply Safe is truly as easy to set up as they say it is. For our video watchers, this is the base station right here. You can see it glowing, and it's sort of the brain of the whole Simply Safe system. Plus, you've got an HD motion sensor camera, and right here you can see me setting up the keypad where you can arm and disarm the security system. 
It's super easy to check in on how your home is doing from the Simply Safe app, and their team of always on professionals are easily reachable and always keep lines of communication open for most protection services. You can take 20% off your Simply Safe security system and your first month free when you sign up for the interactive monitoring service. Visit simplysafe.com slash chuckle sandwich to learn more. So Eddie, mm -hmm. um, Charlie here actually had some pretty big questions for you that he wanted to ask you. They're pretty high rolling questions. Um, and he is really, really interested in learning these things about you. Charlie? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, just to lead in, uh -huh. um, really, just to start off, uh, kind of segue us into what I'm going to bring up and, and what I'll say. Um, shall I go ahead? Uh, so, basically, we're having an argument mm -hmm. to put it to put it um simply um he tweeted a picture of us on set well said Schlatt. Of i'll the take it from dungeons here. and dragons um, so yeah i and, just and i just he put said out right a single before tweet, we right before uh, we started the, the podcast thing Schlatt was he actually going to tweet he, it he originally was like, yeah said, no, well why you, didn't you reply to the you tweet right before this. we started uh, here he was like said, well why no, didn't you reply to the tweet yeah thank you i know he's big on signal boost he needs his likes i was excited because i was like this is really important for me i'm very glad i had the opportunity to do this like i just felt like to me so we kind of got off on the wrong foot there it felt kind of weird because we were having no right i hear what you guys are saying you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah now we were it's like that right. stuff is tough no, sometimes, like especially with ocean. working really with friends. It can like be weird. Okay, you know about so <laughs> here's the thing. I regret I just feel like your brain is going numb now. Just conspired See, this here. is what I, you, you can probably call that. Kind of walked into this by how did I walk into, into this? What Charlie was saying. I was yeah. giving Charlie an opportunity to speak. Yeah, and I'm gonna stop you right there. Yeah, and I'll uh, stop Charlie and I'll right there and say, and say what the right fuck there. I'm gonna is sort of get in the way there of with maybe expecting what you were a reply from me. Um, what, am I crazy because, for being like, oh well, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't reply, but now you're mad at me because I didn't reply because I didn't reply well, to hang, the tweet. Well, now just I sat there on for there. minutes at a time here, just trying really, to type really in quick. If some I could just kind maybe of witty reply in. If I with my sort of with my two little, little here. my two little this bit has um, gone on for too and, long. And it's just like <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you want to do. It's not a bit anymore. I'm time I'm, trying to do it, but I couldn't do it. I don't know. It's like my cock doesn't work. What do you want me to do? What? That's how you ended that? That's a great rep Can you reply to that tweet? My cock doesn't work? That would be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the what do you want me to do? My cock doesn't work. What do you want me to do? To just break this down. You guys were arguing about I'm breaking Schlatt down. replying I'm breaking to the tweet. No, he said he was going to tweet out the Chuckle Dungeon thing yesterday, and I was I was like, okay, well, hang on, because I you know I set it all up. I'd love to have the opportunity, and Shy was very nice about it. He was like, yeah, you go ahead. It's a good photo. You know, we're all dressed up in yeah, costumes. Yeah, I was there for that. I tweeted too. out, uh, and I tweeted out with like a what did I say? Like it's it's time or something like it's that. It's time. Some, something like that. Um, and I added them. I added them. Mm -hmm. It was not. Did like you tag a, them or did you add them? It wasn't in a. The... It wasn't a tweet, and then the ads. It was just the ads. Mm. So think about how I look now. Did they like the tweet? Well, I I like barely. That. I, like I that's barely. They I like the tweet. They I just, slipped onto the buttons. I, like <laughs> literally, I got up like two hours ago. And and what the hell is that supposed to be? What is it? What is I that? haven't gotten around to, to getting on Twitter. To make excuses. Really, like Do you guys formally have... replying to stuff. I Do mean. You... These two, they sort of have a system, and I mean, I think Schlatt's excuse is a little bit less because you know he likes to go through in his little phases what where he goes and he about? replies. What is he to I don't even have Twitter. His cock phone. doesn't work. What my do you want him to do? Doesn't work. What is that? How does that work? What do you want him to do? His bio, bio cock's malfunctioning, man. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry about your real skin over a <laughs> living flesh living over flesh a metal, metal endoskeleton. endoskeleton. Your living flesh over a endoskeleton. T two, Judgment Day. Got it. Favorite movie. You get and what he calls in, his dick. Okay. Mm -hmm. T2 Judgment Day favorite movie. That's the full yeah. title. <laughs> <laughs> full it actually is movie. a copy of the movie, just in place there. It's the it's the case <laughs> with a disc inside. <laughs> Eddie, tell us about like is there a movie that is oh my gosh. unironically the worst movie that you've ever seen that you haven't talked about on your channel? Because you talk you've talked about several terrible movies, but sometimes there are movies that are so bad that you can't even really talk about how bad they are because they're so bad. It's the middle ground ones. It's the ones that feel like they have no heart, but they're also shitty. So yeah. like one of the 
recent ones, I guess recent, you know, pre-pandemic as well, was I, that fucking Tarzan movie in theaters that came out a couple of years ago. I forgot that happened. Everyone forgot it happened because yeah. it wasn't good. <laughs> it was it was just boring. It's Those are the ones that really suck. Is the right. ones that you don't they feel. They have high budgets, so but it's just the, so yeah. So it's the heart, it seems, that sets it apart. Because I think I know what you're talking about. I, um... I, I, my girlfriend had introduced me to Troll 2, mm-hmm. uh, and it was like right around the time I found your channel, and mm-hmm. how I got into it was I watched your Troll 2 video, and I was like, it's so, it's so good. It's so fun. Um, yeah, we have like the Troll 2 mugs, I think. Uh, um, yeah, no, but uh, uh, I fucking completely forgot what I was talking about. I mean, those, because you, you were talking about those fun movies, is the, the reason the So oh, Bad yeah. It, most of the famous So Bad It's Good movies are ones who have directors or somebody in it who really gives a shit about it. Mm-hmm. And which is kind of cruel that we like that about it because it's somebody but who it really gives it a, because it, gives it was it a personality it would, though, doesn't there it? There needs to be a labor of love there so we can tear it down and right. turn them into nihilists. But then when it becomes like a cult favorite or a cult classic, you can recognize that yes, they are sure to be made fun of, but they are getting you know people to watch their movie and talk about well, we it. We love and them think because about of it, it. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, I think that that is sort of a uh, a bit of a. Uh, uh, what's the word? Purgatory to be like stuck in it for someone who's like making movies and wants to be a real director, and then they get stuck in the have they've made a cult classic, and then now they're only going to be viewed as a mm-hmm. cult classic director. Can I say as well? I feel like the disaster artist was the nail in the coffin for the room. It is not fun anymore. It's too it it got too mainstream, and I just it's think it's not yeah. it's not fun. And like I found it late, even when it was still kind of too big on the internet. But after that movie came out, it was like, oh, it's not like an inside joke anymore. Right. Right. Like now they've addressed it, so it's not as it's not right. As and just like when everyone, when it's a, a business, movie the... that you like go to screenings for, and like somebody has to introduce it to you, or you found it on like some corner of the internet, it's more yeah. fun than like you know it being at the Oscars that year, and then everyone knows it's like the bad movie. Oh yeah. Um... How do you feel about, I got to ask, I mean, about the movies like on sci-fi that are sort of made to be bad? I don't oh, watch like those. They're not, by, as like, not as fun. Not as fun. Like four-headed shark attack, five-headed shark attack, six-headed shark attack, seven-headed shark attack coming out these? in 2022. I, seven-headed shark attack? <laughs> like, seven-headed shark attack? It's like, it's like a fidget spinner of just shark heads. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's no body it's at true. all. Ian, Ian, go ahead and, and uh, look up five. Uh, go ahead and start with five-headed shark attack. Let's see just how, how close I was here. Wait, like, is that, like so there one. is a five-headed shark attack? I want to make sure that I have the, the head number right, but I know that it was more well, than Well, you three. kept going up. It's like... It, I well, thought the you were movies keep going. No, this isn't a bit. This is real. And at this point as well, it's like you can... I thought he was there's lying. Like, there's barely a, a tail. This exists. This is real. What? Oh, really? yeah! There's barely a tail sticking out of the shark. It's like just kind of a Beyblade of an animal coming on, coming in a boat. Five-headed shark attack is real. It's one <laughs> shark. Can I see the shark, please? <laughs> Pull it up. What the fuck what the is fuck? that? That's a shark. That's, oh my god! That makes a shark way less scary. Sharks so are like evolution so it's through a, evolution, like perfect underwater predators, and multiple heads. And would now just it's ruin five of them fucking together. Everybody. Well, I mean, they're not even be able to swim. Yeah, the movie is I mean, like the same perfect. every time, but they take the CGI pre-established shots and add on another head to the shark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I kind of so start. I'm starting to like it now. <laughs> yeah, you always see the shark doing the same thing. Like, okay, it has its swim towards the camera, it has its swim right, and it has its like breach. That is it. That is all they will use for the entire movie. God, I can't wait for the next They're one. They're doing the Jaws effect. You barely show the five-headed shark, and then you you fear it more. <laughs> you keep the mystery of what a five-headed shark could look like for most of the movie. What if a six-head starts to grow? Holy I don't shit, know. we have a sequel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes itself. Um, That's fucking ridiculous. So there's a, there's a little bit of a charm in it, in it, but I think I bring it up because it, it lacks the heart in the sense that the... They the know what vision, they're doing. The vision was a little bit different than what came out. Yeah. Right. They yeah, when when and I know there's a group of people that like watching those movies cuz yeah, they know what they're doing when they're making it. They're yeah, making it cheesy on purpose. Going. Yeah, it's trashy. But... I like the ones that are accidentally cheesy. That's that's my my bread and butter. But the thing yeah. is, after you kind of after you dip your toes in that community, you find that most of those movies recommended are kind of not fun to watch and there's like a handful of them. That's why I've only made a couple of those videos because I think only a couple of them have that magic. Well, yeah, and that's that's the hardest thing about even finding movies like that if you're going out of your way. Like I've yep. been recently trying to get a new movie that would inspire me the same way. Like I made a, a movie on bikes and I found that movie by accident. It was like, and it's it requires that magic of like, Do you what want have some? I found? Do you and want it, some right now? 
Hmm? Do you want some right now? Some Mag- I ha- no, some magic. Some, oh, yeah. Some if zest, you, if a you, little inspiration. If you give me some zest yeah. later, I mean, don't mention them now. I mean, it's, it's, I'll give knows? you some zest right now. Well, this is, this is some dual zest. This is a little zest for you as well. Sprinkle it over in your direction. I love um, getting some zest. Let's yeah, no, we're getting a little zesty in here now. <laughs> we're going to. Uh, Can I be uh, the zest, zest in the sandwich? Like, is this I, lime zest? This is. Can I switch my answer to be the zest in the sandwich? sandwich? You can be the zest of the sandwich. I would love to be the zest. Is this sort of what like kind a peel that you kind of shave off? Thick water zest. <laughs> still, I'm holding, I'm holding still the Still in the category. <laughs> so you froze the thick water and then you like got a shave cheese grater. Yeah, <laughs> so this is nightmarish. Now I'm going to segue into what I was going to say, uh-huh. um, which is uh, I went up to uh, to P- Portland, Maine uh, with my girlfriend like a year ago and we Portland. found a like a VHS store of all these uh, fucking movies from uh, the time before time, really. And there was mm-hmm. one about, um, it, it was called, oh, what was it called? It was like the fucking, the, the guy and the wizard. It's, Ian, look this up. It's a guy, yes, a, uh, a sword with three blades on it. Sword and the sorcerer. Holy shit. There you go. It's the sword and the sorcerer. Is it a bad movie? It's it's terrible. He's got a sword with three blades. Uh, and you're like, okay, why? And in the first two minutes, he launches the blades at someone. And for the rest of the movie, he has a regular sword. That right? sounds great to me. He didn't get them back? No, he doesn't <laughs> he get, them back. get them back. He doesn't just like walk across the area that he shot it and pick wow. it back no, up. No, no, he shoots like... it off, it's gone. Wait, don't tell me anything more about this, I won't, this, though. but uh, this, is, this is the little bit of zest for you. I, I And I like the introduction, but if you tell me any more, then the magic won't be there. Right. I need to discover the rest. It's a guy with uh, with a sword with three blades. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. That's, you know that's, that a, movie. that's <laughs> fun. I why and anyone Borf, else would. Borf man knew it, too. That's freaking awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's... So that's got the, that sounds like it. It's got some zest to it as well. It's just by the way you're talking about there it, was like some, passionate. Yeah, there was some other one about like uh, I was fading in and out of consciousness during it. But it was about <laughs> he's got a picture. Whoa, of it. okay. <laughs> wow. That's the sword. That's, that's the sword. Nuts. That's not what I would have pictured when I thought. No, it it's, three blades. it's got three blades. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't even. And great and for after taking down a five headed shark. Perhaps. It, I sort of wonder, like, what was I thinking? Yeah, when I, was thinking, <laughs> I was. I don't even know. I was thinking really. like. I was thinking like. It like sort split of off spoke, to the side. Like a spoke. I was thinking like Breath in the Wild when you have like the Lysel boomerang. Oh, okay. That's you know, cool. I was thinking like a big, uh, like uh, what are the fucking things called uh, from uh, Ninja Trident? Turtles? Yeah, there is. Oh, it's a, a, no, it's a side. Not, yeah, it's a the, side that, that yeah. Raphael has. Yeah, he's cool but rude. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's cool. very angry. He's cool but rude. <laughs> That's his thing. He's got spark and spark. I would love. Hey, to what's be up? Cool I'm but rude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Tony Hawk's son. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly. The, could you imagine you're cool but rude to somebody, and then you just have someone to come in like, hey. <laughs> it's his thing. He's cool, but he's rude. So just get <laughs> fucking used to it. <laughs> and that's and that's the thing too. It's like no, you never hear anyone like admit in a public space that someone is like cool unless there is like something wrong there. If yeah. You ever hear about that? Like it's like someone is someone has only ever mentioned like oh I think so and so is cool in a very private conversation. And if you say it for the most part, referring to somebody, it's they, yeah, they did something wrong. It's like, no, he's cool. It's like a disclaimer before you keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Which what we need is after that, he's cool, but he is rude. You just got to hold on to that. (laughs) As long as you admit it. It's so celebratory in Ninja Turtles. Yeah. (laughs) He's cool, but rude. And And they're like, Michelangelo is a you party need a guy dude. Like that, Schlott. That's the exact oh, lyrics, guy, right? You need, cool I didn't fuck that no, up. You need a guy to help you. So wait, wait, wait. So oh, he's to cool give me a disclaimer. Ninja Turtles. I feel like you could have skipped. When do they start talking about? In the song, I'm, I'm late, lost. I'm late th- in the yeah, song. Yeah, it's a long <laughs> song. I That's, realize... He started from the beginning, and I was like, it's like take a long time. <laughs> and I don't know if you have it all banked up there. Um, but, but one uh, one other thing I had the to, yum yum sauce. One other <laughs> thing I had to mention about the the movie things because in my search for finding a terrible movie, I found this movie that it's very easy to like find terrible movies on IMDb because uh-huh. you can sort it by. Um, the lowest ranking in, in terms. So that's how I found several movies that have been wonderful finds for like animated movies. Um, but there are some animated movies that I've found that are thick. so bad that you can't even watch them yep. because like there's this one movie I found called Space Babies. <laughs> um, it has a 1.1 on IMDb. Um, and I was like, oh, this is great. It's gonna be fucking weird and terrible. 
But in reality, what it is is like terrible voice acting, and then you've got these two characters and then two angles, and then it's just all dialogue the whole time. They took just a risk. within spaces, <laughs> just like they just changed the setting, and they have the characters there, and then they have a certain set of like movements oh. that the characters do, oh, no. and then like. Or like they like their their mouth doesn't line up. I was for some reason I was trying to vin- do some ventriloquy. Just Thank you, Ian. Poster for me. <laughs> yeah, there it is, Space Baby. That looks better than I would have guessed. You'd think so, but it is really, really, really terrible. So terrible that it's almost not even worth making a video on it. Yeah, um, it's just it's not funny. It's just yeah, bad. yeah, it's and just space it's babies. a and I found and I I had this whole list of these stuff, and when I started investigating them, I realized that there's like a bunch of movies like that. Like there's one movie called Finding Jesus, so it's supposed to be like be finding. Fish. Yeah, I well, did as well. It was like Finding Nemo, right? But it's Finding Jesus. And I'm like, oh, this must be awesome because that any concept sounds right. like it's going to be ridiculous. How do you lose Jesus? But it was the you, you leave him in a dentist office in yeah. Australia. But basically, <laughs> That's where you find him. It was it's the like, same plot as finding him. <laughs> <laughs> just Jesus in the tank. Yeah. <laughs> I watched like a good thirty minutes of it, um, which is probably more than I needed to. But it was basically just about Jesus these two fish. And wait a minute, wait, they're Whoa. fish. They're still fish. Yeah, <laughs> was trust me, they're still fish. But they're, they're fish that believe in Jesus, the person, the human. Uh, and <laughs> oh, all right, so Jesus himself is not a fish. Um, yeah, no, he's not a fish. And then it's it's like this this teacher shark is like, you guys know about the love of Jesus, and you got to teach the older kids how to know about Jesus. And that's the whole point. And then the kids are just going around just talking to other fish and saying, believe in Jesus. And they're like, nah, believe in Jesus. Okay. Well, they believe in instead, like fucking scallop Satan or something. That would make more sense. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. They believe so, in THOT. Like you, you, <laughs> you, just, you just mentioned something right now that would have elevated the movie beyond my wildest dreams. Scallop, Scallop Satan? Scallop Satan? Yeah, Are you good. fucking kidding me? That's awesome. No, so here's the thing, right? Is that like the whole thing about it? How I think the most unrealistic it? thing is that Jesus wasn't a fish in this movie because they would have thought he was a fish if it was, right? Yeah, I would have assumed they just kind of. Did like a Veggie Tales type thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was. Was Jesus nice, a vegetable? In- I don't fucking know. I just know that they're like biblical stories. They are very veggie. biblical. Everyone like knows that. way more about Veggie Tales than me, and it kind of pisses me off. Well, Gus here's the thing about like Veggie Tales, and I'm gonna it. I'm gonna break it down for you, Barney style, because clearly you don't know a damn Weed thing about Veggie Tales. That's um, little yeah. What I just said <laughs> is I don't know a lot about Veggie Tales. <laughs> <laughs> so Eddie, it seems to me that you don't know a lot about Veggie Tales. Mm-hmm. I had like Veggie Tales. It's tough to animals when I was growing up. Some of the really? there was Veggie Tales was a very very popular show. It like those they, were just those were just. In I your had kitchen. Tommy the Tomato. You didn't, they didn't buy you any toys. I had those, cold cucumbers. Cucumbers. Those are just cucumbers. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, mom got Veggie Tales stuff. No, there, there was literal like I, I had a uh, an electronic cucumber or no broccoli. It was a broccoli with eyes on it, and it would like sing songs. And it was, I think it was like a Christmas one or something like that. But it was Veggie. I I don't think I realized. That Veggie Tales was a religious show until I was like, what? Well, no, I wasn't watching Veggie Tales anymore. And I went back and I was like, oh, Veggie Tales, and nostalgia. And I was like, hmm. this is uh, they're proselytizing. <laughs> this is the, they're talking about uh, why the broccoli just prostrate? They're talking about the, ex- <laughs> they're talking about the, camera. the exile of, of of the Jewish people. <laughs> In these vegetables. Is that, is that Why tomato? Why did the tomato just circumcise himself? <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 he's blanching himself. He's blanched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was uh, weird. Yeah, I only saw it when I was stuck in CCD, like religious Ooh, classes yeah. growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And Vacation so- Bible school? Vacation Bible school. You never had that? They threw in the word vacation? Was it just on Saturday? Yeah, it was it's summer. Exciting. It was summer. It was oh. summer, and you go to Bible school in the summer. Oh. No. no, no. I, and here's the thing. My the family summer. is not a religion, like, really that religious anymore. They're, they're like, they go they go on, like, Christmas, and they go on, like, the spring, you like, like on Easter, and then that's about it. Mm-hmm. But, like. That's what you got to do. They were. They really tried that. to make it happen. So when I guess I was it's not what you're going do. to hell. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going out, I'm into the scallops. I'll be like, okay. Did no, you really I think really I'm? In, I would be standing there with Ted, and they'll be. God would be like, well, These Ted did go same. on Easter and Christmas. Ted went on Easter and Christmas, and he didn't pay attention. <laughs> Dude, the amount of times I wish I could have brought my Game Boy to church. 
There you go. That would have been awesome. Mm-hmm. I think I did sometimes. Jeez. Wow. Been. I brought a Game Boy it's to Chili's, up. but that's not as risky. You just have not, classic. Uh, both, both, not both, both, both are a place. Of, <laughs> <laughs> both well, are a place of God. We don't know well. everything about chilies. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we knew everything about chilies. Those fajitas, maybe they send you straight to hell. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Eddie, is there anything in particular that's going on right now? Just in life, or yeah, that like you'd like that you're really passionate about, you know? Um, Eddie, what's up with you, man? Just Very fucking. Yeah, you've been just, acting weird. I've been acting real strange lately. You just going for a full sip of the thick water? It's just water, no, theoretically. Right, but I feel like thick should remain in the description for Come it. On, it's just thick water. It's just thick water. Just take right? a property. sip. If you guys are taking a sip. I mean, mm, that'll be that'll be fun. Going what do you mean? Down. No, I'm just. No, it's, it's, it's already water. down, it's baby. It's just water. It's just water. It's just water. It's just water. It I don't just think that you could chug that as yeah, well as I could. I gotta give this. A I, sip I gave it a shot already. I know I'm not good at so it. So we have to know how Ted gives it a shot. We know how we have to know how Ted. You just walked into. Volunteering yourself to chug thick water. Oh fuck! Oh, I no. actually aerated it and it got worse. I did a little thing for the mic, and if you, oh fuck off! Oh, oh fuck off! You're f- that's no 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 oh, no no. Shit. What the fuck? What the fucking hell, dude? It's not that hard, Schlatt. Dead. You walk around like a little baby <laughs> all day long, and I'm all gonna, I gotta do is just chug some thick water. Give I'm, me a break. I'm gonna bore fall over the set. I have to imagine while he's being real confident, he's, oh, yeah. freaking, he's out freaking out inside. I'm not. It was fun. Out. It was weird to. It was weird to to chug it, but it really wasn't that bad. I can't believe I. If there was ever a thing, you know, after all these bits that would send you to hell for real, that would be it. Really? Thick water. It's yep. how much thick water's in your system. It weighs you. It down. weighs you down when you, when you, <laughs> you fall through the your clouds. Your spirit comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I am feeling pretty confident that I got everyone to have that reaction though. That was, Make me feel pretty good. Yeah. You shouldn't <laughs> feel good. You won't be feeling good in a short I'm amount of time. I'm probably be blowing bubbles just from my spit later, though. Uh, Charlie. Jesus, man. <laughs> no, it, seriously, it makes. I just, I fucking hate it. I can't stand it. These guys, he made me play them in, uh, we all played Mario Kart, and we had the loser drink thick water, and Ooh, I lost I yeah. lost Mario Kart. I Every was tired. Time. 200 cc. It was sensory overload. Oh, yeah. Oh, Schlatt, we were playing it. it fucking Koopa which, Troopa with the which, Meow Which, by Meow the Kart. way, we, we, so here's the thing. These two are both. I have my Switch. I've got it all set up on my TV. And I've got Mario Kart and I've got Smash. Mm-hmm. Charlie is very adept at Smash in a way that it's like I thought I was generally good, but then mm-hmm. I like and then in comes Charlie and he's 30 feet tall and he's got like a firing fiery axe and he kills mm-hmm. me every time. Mm-hmm. You got a fiery ass. So I'm getting my ass handed to him and then we switch to Mario Kart. <laughs> and then Schlatt's talking about breaking in Mario Kart. That's why yeah. Gus and Sven are like that too. Well, really? I, I don't even play. I don't even play with them because they're so good. I, I didn't know there was a break. Other. Really? Yeah, they just get so mad at each other that I just prefer to like drink. Well, and be they're watch. brothers. Yeah, so that, but that, like that, they're both really good and also very competitive at it. Yeah, I can imagine though that I could see how that could have come about though. It's just like they're just sort of they're they're training each other to just like they just keep going like that. They're probably mm-hmm. their whole childhood. I think, well, because, you know, I have a, a fraternal twin brother, and we've never been competitive with that stuff. But oh, I think right. It's, really? Especially because I, to- you're... I don't know why I forgot about Tony. I'm a fucking, I love Tony. Yeah, I forgot that. Oh, when I said fraternal, because Tony, I never, I'm all, I'm never introducing him as my twin. So you probably, like, it probably threw you off for a second. Because if I said Tony, you'd Tony's know Tony. Tony's your twin? Yeah, Tony's my fraternal twin. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Have so, I, I've never seen Tony. You've never met Tony before? You, no, I don't think mm, I've ever seen Tony. Was Tony? You probably have. You I don't know. I feel, like you, I feel like you've met Tony. Tony the was same. there. D- no, Tony looked the same Tony's as they they Tony has a beard, but we, he looks like he looks like my brother. He doesn't look like my twin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, Tony uh, might have been there when, in January when we all hung out, but I don't know. Mm, um, he might have. It's also a big group at the time. Um, but uh, I had this bit going where when I first met him, when I was like, Tony. And I was just like weird to him for a little bit, but yeah, it was fun. And then the last time you saw him, you said, do you remember that bit where I was weird to you? And he said, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I absolutely do. <laughs> Ted leaves, Ted, it's all about the first impression. You know? <laughs> I think I leave great first impressions. You left an impression with the thick water. You definitely did. Yeah, that that nice. thick water is going to remember you. It's, gonna, it's left an impression on my stomach, too. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, oh, there's, yeah. How's it like, feel right now? I feel like I'm turning into a volcano. Oh no! In the well, best the way thing. possible. You and I'm shake it around. Right the the bubbles are just—they're just still. They're sitting there. That yeah. is in you right now, and yeah. more of it, and a lot more of, of it. it. I think that I—I think that I can like now preserve that. I can fossilize can things in my yeah. in my gut. If uh, if by any chance a mosquito 
you know, took something from an animal and went down there. Right. They could find your bones in a long time. (laughs) Make a clone or something. Ted Amber. You know snails can fossilize themselves? You told me this yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hold on. I want to hear more, actually. Well, that's actually all I know. What do they do? Like, uh, what's the process? They just, hey, like, sit down and calcify. Ian, help me out here. <laughs> in what way? That was uh, said you, in the way that you... Well, you, first thing we have you need it, to do is We have a up, general do understanding snails, of information. Do snails fossilize themselves? And if it is true, I need you to just follow up with that and figure out how and what also, they do. Also, second question. Did Will I am make the samurai jacket? He did. That's what I'm fucking yes. talking about. <laughs> if I lied on the podcast, that'd be the... 500th time and I'd have to revoke my card. Right. Did you, uh, do you know the song Where's the Love? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the line from Taboo when he says chemical, chemical gases, gases fill in the lungs, lungs of, of little, little ones? ones? I, f- I forgot <laughs> about the lyrics to that entire song until right now. Chemical <laughs> gases fill in the lungs of little ones. And it's like maybe, I think, didn't they sing that at the Super Bowl? I think that, I don't know if he said that line. You know, they had, they did a Super Bowl show like four years ago. Yeah. I wonder if they sang that line at the Super Bowl. Uh, I hope <laughs> they not. probably just sung "Boom Boom Pow." <laughs> yeah, that's and it. I'm a B. If they sang that line, somebody was like, "We should get Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga next year, or Katy Perry, because yeah. the Sharks are better than the line they just said <laughs> yeah. in front of everyone." Can you imagine they go out at the Super Bowl first song is the uncensored "Let's Get It Started." <laughs> <laughs> oh my I don't God. condone that song. <laughs> they everyone, sang it, not me. There, everyone in the audience would just be like. Uh, <laughs> I don't oh, remember. <laughs> Wait, you sure you're sorry this for is... party rocking? You're not sorry for this. They didn't make that song, right? That's LMFAO. That's oh, LMFAO. Dude. Did you know? Did you, you know that? Um, is? did you know the real I'm meaning? So of, sorry, fuck, <laughs> did man. you know that Jesus. the real meaning of of party rock is in the house now? It's about meth. No, party yeah. rock. Party Think rock. about it, man. Party rock. Really? Yeah. 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 I'm choosing to believe you for now, but I got I don't know if this That's is one why of those. They, did, they did party rock. I'm I'm on what, what else could party I'm rock I'm on edge mean? just because when we had Sven on the podcast, I didn't believe him, but he told us that Johnny Depp's real name was Alan Depp. <laughs> and I didn't believe him, but really? then he was just like, Yeah, I lied. No, he, he said because like, he was on yeah, you yeah, he was party rocking a little before that. Yeah, That's he was hilarious. party rocking before the so, podcast. Yeah, they had party rock That's anthem, hilarious. They had, they had, they had, sorry for party rocking. Face said his name uh, was Alan Depp. He said he's been just like telling those lies to his friends recently. Party rock relapse. Those had, are, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, party rock rehabilitation. Party rock rehab. was one. Um, well, because they're such inconsequential lies. They're like it's just funny because yeah. it's just like you could just say something that is wrong. Yeah, because if it's wrong and it sounds like interesting trivia, they'll share it. The to way I'm talking friendly. about it, it makes it sound like I'm discovering lying for the first time. But I, I don't know how else. Which to is because it's it. pathological for you. Yeah, so, it's yeah. pathological. Wow, it's very okay. manipulative. Oh, Pret- wow. you're lying right now, pretending like. You're discovering lying, but we know this is yeah. You always put on this face for the Mm -hmm. podcast. When are you? When when are the walls gonna drop? When's the real Ted gonna come out? Is it once once this kills you? you, And what happens? How the walls are gonna drop? The walls are gonna drop exactly like that one scene from the Barbie Nutcracker movie when they walk up to and and, and Ian will know what I'm talking about because he's (laughs) seen it. um, Where they walk up to this castle and then the castle drops forward and it was like made of. It was like a wooden wall that was pretending oh, to like be a, a castle, castle. Mm, and they nice. were tricked by that, and they were all shocked that it wasn't a real castle. And that's in the Barbie Nutcracker? Mm-hmm. Was that for a video, or were you just having fun? You just having a good night? I, I just remember that scene from the Barbie Nutcracker. Maybe <laughs> I should make a... I should watch all the Barbie movies. And, and I bet there's some good stuff in there. That rank them. I bet there's some good stuff in there. So, that so would... snails can turn into fossils, but they're dead. That's what I was wondering. You fucking <laughs> said that. Until, last until, night this no, fucker keep, said they could come back. And I was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? People can't turn into a fossil. No, no, no. Into a fossil. Why are they be, coming back There's got to be a comma in there. There's a comma, <laughs> comma, and then they come back. No, right? no, what? No. no. I feel like... Well, what I didn't understand is how would you fossilize how you yourself other than yourself? isn't fossilizing yourself just like dying on the ground? It's right, getting Ian. pressed between <laughs> rock, yeah. very I mean, heavy he rocks. So shop. what he he's saying, shop. what Charlie is saying is that snails can fossilize themselves like everything else no, that can no, be fossilized. They, don't. Yeah. Fossilized. they do not yeah, become so. a fossil. They fo- I'm you know what? You guys keep going with this. I'm going to do a little bit of research here and I'm going to come back swinging. Snail. I can fossilize myself. Don't. <laughs> can you come Ancient back mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. No. Yeah, over thousands of years under Ancient the dirt mosquitoes and rock. can turn themselves into amber. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, wait, so actually, Ian, there's nothing about them coming back? It, it looks you? like they make really good fossils. That's but... Ian, that's not what we're looking for here. <laughs> okay. It's like that one Pokemon. We talked about this. If you want me to pay <laughs> along, you have to pay me ahead of time. You know, yeah. No, there this is you real. go. You know this the Pokemon real. that's like fossil? It's like a Pokemon card, and it's a fossil. No, I don't know that one. You no, know what I'm talking I don't about? know that one. I, my knowledge of Pokemon goes up to Get in the comments. whatever was in uh, Sapphire, and that's pretty much all I know. I'm talking about the cards. I don't. I didn't, I didn't really fuck with the cards. <sighs> what do you fuck with? Like, what I do you fuck know. with the most right now? Uh, pff, I mean, r lately it's been Samurai Jack and playing games. That's pretty much it. That's all I'm doing right now. I mean, I'm working on stuff. Snails but like, are gastropod mollusks. What that, game? What game? Uh, I bought Ratchet and Clank recently. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm laughing at him uh, muttering snail facts to himself. Snails. You getting anywhere? You you find an article? Actually, snails can come back from being <laughs> fossil. Hey, hey! By the way, Some I'm a snail. Snails. I'm turning into a fossil, Mucus. and I'll be back. <laughs> like what? Snail. What? What? Evolutionary function would there be to be turning into a fossil? That's the plot of um, Turbo, the Ryan Reynolds snail movie. Is he race, does a race and then he fossilizes himself and everyone stops oh, to see if he's okay. Right. <laughs> and then he goes, right. I'm back and he beats everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they're all in shock. There's something here. There's something here. I swear. I, I feel swear. like there would be some extraordinary evidence of no, a snail. Like, can snails you imagine? Thanks to a lung. They have a lung. Uh, a snails have a Charlie, lung. Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> let me ask you Many something right now, Charlie. Extinction? Hey, Charlie, look at me. Yeah. Look at me. If a snail can fossilize itself, then why aren't there like fossilized snails from millions of years ago that are just coming back right now? <laughs> they'd have to, if you went to a museum, they'd have to put it in like a cage. In to a make cage. Sure. Hey, like, just in case it comes back. <laughs> we don't want them, <laughs> we don't want them running you off. You are so stupid, Charlie. You should snails, be ashamed of yourself. Snails decide when. You should be ashamed of Can yourself. Can you imagine that? If this is... If I this is actually know. true, this how is... the fucking comments after where it's like, you this three, is... no, your fucking it's arrogance real. not knowing um, that snails could come back from the dead. I'm going to be snail. really surprised if they could because that's going to be an extraordinary oh, so discovery. Find snail facts too. We've got Ian literally on research right now. Snails can see, but and they can't. Unless fear. Ian's just trying to get us going and, and, it turn, and gaslighting snail. Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> And so which it's that would taken be. him a very long time to refute this. <laughs> He's got like a, you, so and you have a journal up that is like, in fact, so they can fossilize themselves and come back. And to Charlie's like, no, it's never happened. <laughs> never once. I'm getting a peer-reviewed journal here. No, don't open up a peer-reviewed I'll, 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 I'll look some journal. stuff up, too. Snail-reviewed journal. Snailfax.com. Snailfax. Snailfox.com didn't have it. Snailfox.com. Snailfox. I think the snail actually fucks itself. It's a hermaphrodite. Turbo was a hermaphrodite in that movie. Okay. Um, which is good. Is that what it means to f be able to fuck yourself? I think so. I don't know. Like you can create your own children without a mate? Is that a thing? Where's the, where's this? It's <laughs> asexual reproduction. Yeah, that's the thing is I didn't know. <laughs> it's you asexual. You have two to tango, even with snails. Yeah. Really? So that's another incorrect snail fact from oh, Charlie. Oh, guys, guys. This is Charlie, like, got all sorts of snail Your facts snail here. run is going awful all right now. snail facts. Charlie. They Give us another snail fact. Snails Charlie. don't run; they have a foot and they crawl. And they crawl with that. <laughs> snails have a foot and a lung. <laughs> Snail, <laughs> snails do taxes, but they're, they're not they, legally obligated no. to. <laughs> they fossilize themselves for a long time. Separate tax classification for snails. Snail facts two. Snail facts didn't have it. I'm gonna He's, try. And, no, no. What page are you on right now? And it's gonna be. It. Someone will have had to type it eventually. Somebody. Some where did okay? So if you just can't find a damn thing about them unfossilizing themselves, where did you learn that? No, it's it's it gotta be it's real. It's Turbo's gotta be real gotta name, real. Alan Depp. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Depp also a snail. They live everywhere. They not helpful. I feel so bad. If, if you had to choose, <laughs> okay, like, I'm gonna ask while while Charlie's doing that, I'm gonna ask Eddie a question. If you had to up? choose one person that was like a a face, like a spokesperson such as, like, Chef Boyardee, that you could meet in real life. Okay, wait, so you're saying, like, a... Like a, like a, like a... So, like, a brand mascot? Yeah, a brand mascot that is, like, a person. Not, like, you can't, like, choose, like, Tony the Tiger because he's a fucking cartoon. Well, I wouldn't... I wouldn't choose KFC. I don't want to have a convers. I don't want to have a conversation with, with the Colonel. The Colonel is gonna no. say something that he's gonna say something that I don't want to hear him he's say. He's gonna say something real strange. I don't know any history about the Colonel, so if somebody's like, I actually know a lot about him and he was fine. Uh, whatever. This, I, is, <laughs> this is such an easy question for me. Okay. 
Is it Green Giant? I, I did he a no, large, he's not gi- real. Giant green penis. Not real. Big cock. What? Big. So does it have to be a real? Green flesh over metal ed- endoskeleton. No, no, no. <laughs> That's what the Green Giant. Wally is. Amos living, living from Famous Amos. Animal. You know the cookies. Oh. There you go. Wally Amos. Oh, is he the one with the cool history of like building up the business, or am I thinking the wrong? Snails, I don't know. Snails can't or, back up. I don't remember which. I just know he's on the back of the famous Amos forwards. packages, and I want to meet that guy. Yeah, and just shake tell his him, hand. just Fuck. you, you did good. I would like <laughs> to be. <laughs> I would like to be meet Newman. Newman from oh. Newman's own. Oh, I'd you like should. He's alive still. Like Is he really? Snail. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Snail. You don't know? No. Is Just Newman someone shaking their head? Is off Newman the... alive? Paul Newman. <laughs> he's turned him. He's fossilized himself. He he's fossilized. Come back and <laughs> yeah. Paul Newman. He, he embalmed himself. himself. <laughs> Is Newman's own alive? Okay, the closest. What? No, he'll, I mean, he's he's gonna unfossilize. Every Look. every every question, I'm like, I don't want to be the one guy with the opposite information. So, it's... okay, the closest thing I found to stay moist during Paul hibernation. Paul Newman is very dead. A snail seals, is that Paul seals Newman? Its shell. Charlie, I'm still talking Wait, about he Charlie. Says, snails, he said the closest bro. thing he found. I want to hear what the closest Thank thing. Thank you, to... Eddie. This is. I just need someone to hear. I don't this. think I'm Charlie, on your the side. Like, think I, they're all no, dead. It's... They're all fossilized, and they're not coming back. To stay moist during hibernation, a snail seals its shell opening with a dry layer of mucus called an epiph- epiph- epiphram? Epiphram. That's it? That's the closest that thing to the, fossilizing themselves? It's actually a really short- Surrounding sort of, itself in mucus? Sort of a subsection in the article, so not <laughs> really much. Um, I, I just- I want to know. Because we all know that when we say fossilization, that yeah. is, yeah, like sediment filling in the space in yeah. which yeah. that, yeah. So and then I want, potentially coming back. Yeah. So I want to know how a youth believed in your heart of hearts that a snail was replacing itself with rock, <laughs> and then saying goodbye, rock. I am now a living organism once again. I'm back. <laughs> and it would still be encased in rock. Yeah. It, it was, no, that would be the be shittiest back. superpower be ever. Back. That'd be It'd like be coming back. back from the dead and you're just buried. Yeah. <laughs> Which, surprisingly with Turbo, is also a Ryan Reynolds movie <laughs> oh, where he's yeah. in a wakes up in a coffin and doesn't does know what to do. Well. Yeah. That doesn't end well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, well, that's, I want that Jurassic Park where they go to the scientists and they're like, they just came back. They just knew how to, they punched their way out of the rocks and they're coming back. (laughs) (laughs) You should be ashamed of yourself. I wish I could, I wish I could fossilize right now and come back when the studio is just covered in cobwebs and and crawl out and make a new life for myself. (laughs) Everyone's fucking dust. (sighs) Yeah, they can't do it. They, uh, it's just mucus. I know it'll cheer you up. No. Some thick water. I don't need some thick water. You had water wrong information you, you must chug. That's, That's the trick, rule. though. That's not a That's rule. That's the rule. We, we all deny all the, all the time. There's Why knowledge in there. It's, it's what you're talking knowledge. about. If you put enough thick water in yourself, you you keep your, your organs yeah. working, and then so you can kind of fossilize yourself and come I back. I can create a mucus from the thick water in which to encase myself. Yeah. You just drink enough of it and then shine <laughs> shine like a UV light inside. What, you, what, what were you trying to do? Were you trying to gargle it? <laughs> I was trying to gargle it, but he it was like... He was trying to gargle thick it water. It didn't have the... Um, it didn't have the consistency I expected. Yeah, it came right gargle out. Gargle thick water? Have you tried? No. Okay. He's going, He's going for it again. Go. Uh, cool. <laughs> it's now. It's too thick to gargle. It just sounds. Oh, you okay? Yeah. It just sounds like thin, it just sounded like this. Thin water in here. <laughs> I know it hadn't reached the gargle point when I tried to do it. Yeah, you weren't doing it fast enough. I love this audio. It's um, just been a rough podcast for me, man. So, <laughs> this has been, been a rough one. Episode thirty-two is a real rough one. Thank, for, hey, thank, you, thank, rough you, thank one. you for having me on. Yeah, man. Hey, I really appreciate hey, it. Dude. Always got to throw a bone sometimes. <laughs> well, I don't want some what fucking do you yum yum to wash it. About down. did oh, you answer the um the mascot question? man. No, I don't know. So it, it has to be a person, like a real person, or can I meet a fake ma- mascot? I want it to be I'm like sorry, what one are we that talking is about? like the mascot a is a like a human food mascot. Ah, uh, I would. Aunt I think I'd. I think I'd hit Chef Boyardee right across Ooh. his mouth. He's just looks. Wait, like hey, on you'd hands. meet him to attack him. You'd beat him. 
just for fun. He That's he Campbell's. contributed <laughs> a great deal to the war effort. <laughs> yeah, but like, don't. Did he really? He yes. That lo- Dan, look that up. No, I don't need to. He's right. <laughs> what did Chef Boyardee? Well, I actually well, want to hear more information. This, okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll pull some punches. He, he, he converted. He re- he fitted his uh, spaghetti factory into a bullet Hold producing it. factory. This sounds like a. And he made show. spaghetti bullets. No, they weren't. There was no more spaghetti. No more spaghetti. Where did it all go? That's the can is just bullets so, and it says no more in, spaghetti. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. In World War II, he produced army rations. Oh. Uh, spaghetti. Hey. I lied about that. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, so we got so two pieces of information here. I wonder here. what the rations were. Was it ravioli? Was it beef ravioli? It's, it's just a little lie, but I'm just going to need you to no, take no, just a no, little sip for that. Okay, so. That's okay. Yeah, you can do that. It's congealed. Okay, so here's a little thick water for that. Don't do it. Yum, yum. Yeah. Thank you, Yum Yum Just Sauce. Just a sip. Just a um, sip. Still got some of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was, you are saying he made bullets, but he just made rations. He made rations for the war. Yeah. And he got a, he got a mili- he got like a military award for it. And then he sold his company to something. He also, he sold, she- he sold it. I think you're talking about But he now. stayed in the commercials because he was the chef. Yeah, you remember the commercial where the can's rolling and it rolls through Normandy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I love Shep. Ch- <laughs> it's the fucking Saving, saving Private Ryan scene, but the I, I just, oh, can, it's God. I just said I love Chef, and then I started singing the song that plays when you're playing Mario 64 and you're going down the slide with the penguins. It sounded like the commercial to me. That's kind of what it is. Um... Similar song, something sliding. I definitely, I think I'd like to see that though. What you just described, the commercial. A war. War. Yeah, no, Ted would love Chef to see that. Kind of up. No, uh, no, like Chef War idea, like no, you know, storming you the, the beaches time. as a can. And <laughs> this like, is horribly insensitive. What? It happened. In fact, why don't you go ahead and take a? Don't sip deny that it happened. Just take a sip of the thick water, water for that. Come one. Come on, you can't Jeez. stop Christ. me. You need more thick water. Oh, there's so much again. Eddie, I think you need some thick water. I'll take a bro. sip from the cup. I don't want to be part of the chug for it. Make sure it stays on chug, your mustache. Chug, chug. <sighs> it's not that bad. It actually really fucks it's me. It's doable. It you really fucking, it. it fucks me. It's like your rough. St- Like in your stomach it's no, bad? Or yeah, just the, like the it, having the to drink it? The whole situation, like I do not feel well looking at it, tasting it, knowing it. So why did you, how much, who really brought the thick water around? Whose um, idea was it? Was it was at my house from the, the video that we did it, um, but then it's it's for dis, it's for dysphagia. Kent Precision. Ian, would you look up dysphagia? Trouble swallowing. Whoa! He already looked it up before. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Why did you you already looked that up? Well, yeah, we, yeah it was. Yeah, he, I'm getting he better. At told this. us he's getting really good at it. <laughs> I just I I understand, but my first thought for having trouble swallowing wouldn't be to make the water thicker. I get it when you think about it for a moment, but that's like normally you'd think it would go down. Well, you're not going to make it difficult. thinner, already. Maybe. You're going to you water chug, it down? <laughs> would you chug a, a, a full th- thing of Campbell's tomato soup? No. No. It's got six tomatoes in every can. That oh, well, change. then that changes things. <laughs> I, that's what Are I the thought, tomatoes I thought, circumcised? And it's great with goldfish crackers. <laughs> <laughs> they're biblical circumcised are they, tomatoes. Are they, are they blanched? Oh, I mean, they're likely blanched. <laughs> <laughs> we call it God's can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you actually have to blanch tomatoes in order to make tomato soup. Well, there you go. And I don't. Is that we're true? throwing out so many know, man. facts on this know. podcast. <laughs> I just can't believe there's a lot of things, uh, you know, for our podcast that we'll just kind of leave it. And I feel like you guys are so abusing me <laughs> over there. I'm just like any thought that comes to your mind, like tell us now. <laughs> well, because it's a it's a new feature of the podcast. We've never been able to just get our questions answered. All, Pretty almost immediately. Yeah, the fun I liked of it, it though. I liked it before. The fun of it is being wrong and then having people on Reddit be like, "I was in my car yelling at how wrong they were," and then you just go, "Well, I wasn't frustrated, so that's how you know." <laughs> I but was I in like the car and on it, a single we're snail right on the dashboard. The like maybe, like if we didn't have Ian here, we would have just believed you. You did. This well, whole you actually did until that, now. Until that, I was. And I know. And now I, I feel. I'm the fool. Well, it's good because, I mean, how many other people, if I had just said that and no one had stopped us, how many other people do you think would spread that, right? Oh, from just listening to the oh, podcast? It would, it would just spread like it? wildfire. Because it's like, wow, that's a crazy fact. 
Snails Which, can come back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It would spread like wildfire. The snails, they're back. <laughs> they're back. Like that movie with the dinosaurs from the 90s. We're back. We're back. I loved We're Back. It was really dark, though. It was incredibly dark. Have you guys seen that movie? No, no. I don't know what you're talking about. It's about, <laughs> about like a... Uh, it, it's a... It's a very interesting movie. Um, it's about a like grandfather guy, like some sort of old, wonderful old man that brings these dinosaurs back, and these kids are friends with them, and it's in New York. He brings right? them into New York City. New York. Why and is it they're called like, We're Back? Because it's, it's the dinosaurs. The they can, the oh, dinosaurs? Sorry. 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 they can talk. Oh! They can talk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they can talk. They can chat. They're very, very cartoony. They might um, sing at some point. There's a parade scene. There's they, definitely they, a parade scene. Do they scene. sing in the parade scene? Perhaps. I think that there's a very high likelihood they that, that they song, do. We're back. <laughs> we're we're dinosaurs. dinosaurs. And we're back. We're back in <laughs> town in the city of New York. We're that parade? Are they, why is it dark? Are well, it's dark. Well, that pr- the parade happens uh, September 10th, 2001. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no. no. No, 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 no. There's like no. a curse and like there's so, a weird, there's so, like a circus. Shit. Okay, so <laughs> there's a. I told so, that to famous birthdays. You know the site that tracks birthdays? Uh-huh. They emailed me and was like, when were you born? And I said, I don't know why. I said September 10th, 2001. And they just. And then I just, I, uh, I included another sentence below that. The day before the tragedy. <laughs> did they put that in the tagline for your birthday? No, no, they didn't, but they did believe me. <laughs> so so basically what the what makes it dark, uh, this dinosaur <laughs> movie nice yeah, tidbit, is that fact. is that there's this fucking guy who runs a circus and he kidnaps these kids that the dinosaurs are friends with. Oh no. And then the dinosaurs basically Bummer. make a deal with the devil where they decide to be go into this circus but for some reason and i forget why they go from like these really cartoon dinosaurs that once they're in the circus they're like realistic looking they dinosaurs snap. they're like regular dinosaurs and not talking fun ones anymore yeah oh. that's kind of scary too yeah. like once was, they're put on it, display it really just... was like really sad it was very sad to watch them but it ended well i mean they get to be cartoons again or oh yeah they got to be cartoons again and i don't remember the ending i haven't seen this movie in like 15 years oh yeah no i haven't seen it in like 10 but i remember it i like watched that was one of those movies where it's like again vhs boom Mm -hmm. again again do the dinosaurs have personality oh yeah personalities and they were and they were like they were like every can you show us just a a cover image we're of we're back, we're back. <laughs> just put a we're back dinosaur movie it was probably like i bet scary is one of the autofills i put it i bet if you I put we're back like movie, movie s i bet i think i don't know when the fuck it's from it was it's like, gotta be the 90s it was like one of those times where like american animation was doing pretty well and they and they were back they came back much like back. the snails mm-hmm. yeah there they are oh yeah and each, you see how each one is like its own color like you got yeah. the you got the red yeah, yeah, t-rex yeah. you got the pr- i'd say blue. it's more of an orange but but go ahead. Orange <laughs> T Rex. We got the purple pterodactyl. We got the blue triceratops. triceratops. We got the green. I don't know what the fuck, the fuck that guy <laughs> Whatever was. the fuck that dude I is. I mean, he's like a, a, a fucking weasel. Weirdo Saurus. Am I right? <laughs> guys, but uh, then those those kids and they're just carrying them around. That reminded me. Uh, do you guys uh, you know uh, Jarvis Johnson? Other commentary yes. YouTuber, yeah. very wonderful yeah. guy. Love him. I was at Universal with him, and we went on the Jurassic World ride, and he was in the front left of that that water, you know, ride, yeah. and when we got to the very bottom, the th- initial splash, because there's a huge drop, yeah. didn't get him, and then I would say, like, a barrel's worth of water, just <laughs> at the very end of the day, it was already oh, nighttime, no. just engulfs him. It was terrible. <laughs> and I was sitting right next to him, barely hit me. Got my Did he have his phone and everything? Or was he like worried? His phone was fine because I think it was in Did his, his right pocket. Or something like that? Um I don't think anything was ruined, but then while he was still dripping wet we went to Margaritaville. So Oh that's fun. They oh. don't care there. I don't care. Yeah, Nobody no. cares at Margaritaville. So that was just like the last ride you went on before yeah. going to Margaritaville. So it was already kinda cold. Damn. Yeah. I w- I recently went to Universal. I I talked to you about that. Um, and we went on that that Jurassic World ride, and it was having some trouble that day. Like it got shut down for like an hour or yeah. something like that. But at one point, we 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 were left for a while, and we returned to the ride, and we went on it. And at a certain point, we got stuck right at the point before the climb to the drop. Mm. So there's this dinosaur sound that's playing 
of like that repeats over and over and we were there for like three minutes of just the same dinosaur <laughs> sound and it's like the magic is just instantly lost yeah. but then it we returns get it, you're back <laughs> because once you climb up and it was part of the Jurassic oh, the, Park ride once you climb up it gets cool yeah well it especially return, right. as you're climbing up everything's going wrong Chris Pratt's like keep your hands inside Chris the Pratt's vehicle like, or yeah. these these dinosaurs will tear you to fucking shreds Don't and move. then a velociraptor breaks down from the ceiling Whoa. and is holding two wires like he's going to hot wire something. <laughs> oh, shit. And it's sparking, and it's just to, like, scare you, and it's my favorite part of any ride ever. And he's really? Just holding he's them? holding the wires together. Yeah, he's holding the wires like, like ah, I got I'm you. A, I'm, a I'm breaking engineer. the ride. Yeah. I'm an engineer we're, we're back I'm and we're in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no idea why they did that, because it's part of the Jurassic Park ride. And yeah. then, nope. In any point in the movies, does a Velociraptor fucking hotwire or something? I don't remember. No, but they, I think that just kind of falls in line with the theme of, like, we're Velociraptors and we're smart. And because of the one time they opened the door. That's it. Now they can hotwire things. Yeah, it's now my they... favorite part of any ride. It's, I cheer every time I see it. Really? Yeah, because it's the part where everything's building. And then and then you get <laughs> to just go, yeah, Velociraptor with, a, Velociraptor with fucking wires in his hands. Engineer <laughs> Velociraptor of, of death. Do you have a favorite ride at Universal? Or just that... period? Uh, or is it just the Velociraptor? Well, I love is why you the go. studio tour at Universal is awesome. Would you skip the rest of the Jurassic Park ride if you could just see the Velociraptor over? No, and over? I, that ride's really cool. Now they have I that like that it. Indominus Rex from the new movies. They have like an animal tra- mm. animatronic that's like to scale that walks. So that's cool. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, it's a cool ride now. At the top of the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's right. that one's cool. There's a lot of there's a lot of cool shit at Universal, and it's got a good drop too. It's got a solid. Yeah, drop. it's uh, you feel I, it in I your believe stomach. it is a half more than Splash Mountain. It's one point five times the er, of the drop of Splash Mountain. Mm. Really? Also, speaking of getting stuck on a ride, Gus got stuck on Splash Mountain with the fucking Splash Mountain song for like I think like thirty minutes. Oh, which is just sorry. The, one of the sorry most for his loss. Yeah, irritating <laughs> yeah. songs you could wow. possibly play on repeat. We were originally gonna uh, go to Universal in this in this content week, but I think we're thinking about doing Disney. You guys have Ooh. both been in the past couple. Yeah, weeks. I haven't been to Disney. I haven't been to Disney. Universal. Oh well, yeah. That's why we put Disney on the table. Yeah. Um, but you recently went to Disney. Yeah, I went any, to Disney in June. You got any big suggestions for a Disney goer? Um, there's a lot of cool shit there. I mean, it's the I would say even like. I don't know, a lot, or if you can nail the Rise of the Resistance ride, that thing is fucking crazy. The Star Wars one, you have to like jump on a virtual queue for. Oh, it's like the craziest I did that. Ride in, the, uh, in the big, the Star Wars area is so cool. Yeah, it's, I've only seen like it once. Fast Pass or anything you can buy. I don't think right now there's anything like that, but you have to jump on a. It's fucking dumb. You have to jump on a virtual queue at like seven a.m. and the oh. second. Uh, by the time it's like seven, uh, like a.m. and three seconds, it's already taken. So you have to like you pull up the naval clock on somebody else's phone because that's what they go off of and refresh it at the perfect time to get on the ride. Jesus. Yeah, it's because it's so Ever? fucking busy. Time.gov. For, for, uh, for the Rise of the Resistance one because it's so popular. Oh, that's it's like cool. It's cool ride. And then at yeah. one they reset it, I think. And so uh, Chrissy and I actually got it at one and we were in the Star Wars area next to a big group that was like desperately trying to get it and we got it and they didn't and so we w- quickly walked away to celebrate because i didn't want to be like oh Fuck yeah, yeah that's, actually, that. that's a very kind thing to do well yeah they seemed really excited especially if you're in the galaxy's edge area it's like those are people who are intense star wars fans that are trying Everyone's to nail character it. right as well. and i had already been on it too so i didn't want to be like second time's the charm they might have flown from like another part of the country yeah. and we like took there's that a spot. there's a new um there's a new Avengers thing. Did yeah. you see that? There was a like before a couple days before I went. There was a five hour wait to get in that park, and then when I showed oh, up, God. we just walked in. So, well, was, did you see? Well, like, what kind of stuff is in there? They have a really cool animatronic of uh, Spider Man. That's like a oh, the one that jumps. Yeah, they like <gasps> use like a slingshot to shoot this animatronic that does like acrobatics in the air and it looks like he's just, like you know, suspended flying. on anything? it does like a tuck and roll they, thing it gets in the caught air. in a net so it like actually flies through the air oh, and that's like does wild. a little flip and then there's a uh, live actor that does flips before then and then tries to like Pretend. web down a building but it's got a harness because it has to be safe so it just looks like he harnesses in yeah but yeah it, there's a lot of cool shit to do there especially okay. if you guys are doing a video it's there's a lot of fun stuff to like you know either mm-hmm. make fun Maybe. of or just do dumbo Maybe. shit Oh, I guess we could do. Maybe we get. Into, I think our, maybe we get. Oh, just for fun. We were originally just going to do it for fun. Oh, cool. I, I know. How fucked up is that? Huh? <laughs> yeah. No, I yeah. mostly do that. That's we had. We had a lot of the those Gus and Eddie go things we were doing, and then a lot of the time we go on a vacation and be like, I just want to enjoy myself. That's I how. Shoot, that's how it almost always is for me. It's like I could do something, but 
No. <laughs> That's what I think we're going to do now is whenever we actually go somewhere for like, you know, doing a show in the future, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. we'll do one in, in that I th- city. You, you, uh, I think you should like, it's it's tough to, maybe you, you bring someone along to like be, like do the video for you guys. So mm. it's like, it's like maybe yeah, that's like externally no- motivating in that way. Yeah. Um, Cause I can definitely understand. It's like once you're on vacation, it's so easy to just be like, on vacation you know? yeah yeah and uh before we were just scrapping for it now we can afford to like hire somebody to do it yeah. Ian, google my net worth <laughs> <laughs> what is it what does it actually do that <laughs> well i mean most of those websites they're all wrong i'm actually wrong. Cu- i'm actually curious what they think it is you want me to say it yeah it's very accurate of course uh 1.2 million dollars holy shit oh, man. Congratulations. Whoa, okay all, can you do it for all of us yeah, yeah, what's, I actually yeah. Really, really what's our, our, what's our net worth I'd like to know. <laughs> it's awesome how, how knowing how much money we totally have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, Ted, you're you're somewhere between three and four million dollars. What the Man, fuck? Holy is shit! The disparity hey, between give it up for Ted. Give what it up the hell? <laughs> Good job, guys. You, no, I'm pissed. I'm oh not. I'm God. not applauding. God, why? <laughs> That's ridiculous. What's going on? I don't have that much money. Wink. Uh. <laughs> Schlatt, you, uh, 103,000. <laughs> no, that's not right. Why do I have such a high What the fuck? All right, all Are right. Are these all the you, same site? Yeah, is this the same website? Or, you just or is it just whatever comes up? Because uh, it's whatever comes up on Google. Right, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll double check that. Uh, Charlie, you are at 1.43 million. What? Why what am the I, fuck is going on? What? What, what did Ted? Why? <laughs> why? What did Ted do? What the <laughs> like hell? Bruce Wayne over here. What the hell? <laughs> This is fucking bullshit. I four, three point wait. You say three to four million or three something? to four million? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's Where the fuck is that coming from? How do they calculate it? I don't know. Fucking my maybe my this ivory is trade. From explorecelebrity.com. Hey know. Eddie, why don't we go out later and get a modest dinner? Yeah, and <laughs> Ted will that. pay for it. <laughs> uh, Schlatt. Yeah. Uh, don't talk to me. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll cover the tips. <laughs> hey, <laughs> gotta... hey, you're okay. You're okay. I always wonder what Wait, is. Weird... I found another one. I found an updated number. Two hundred. Two hundred thousand. <laughs> hey! Oh, wow. Wow. Hey! Oh, you're doing, you're doing right. well for okay. yourself, okay. man. Okay. Good job. Okay. Good job. Okay. Well, are these all the web- same website? Uh, for some reason, Schlatt is not listed on the same website as everybody else. So okay, that is a well, changed maybe, factor maybe, then. Maybe for Jay Schlatt live. Oh. Oh, oh, you think that's gonna get you a couple million? Let's see. So curious. Uh oh, it doesn't seem He's good. Laughing. It doesn't seem good. Five. It's uh it it went up did it in a very weird way, but it's it's zero point five million. Was that the same website or is that still different? Uh that's the one as everybody else's. Okay. Wow, okay. That's so weird. I will say, whenever we look up those for YouTubers, we're always like, that's insane that they would think that. But then whenever I look it up for a major celebrity, I just believe it instantly. Yeah, that's very fair. And I won't change. <laughs> even <laughs> even yeah. with my own personal experience, I'm going to still be like, this celebrity makes this much. Yeah, no, that's that's fun. I wonder what set of data they use to even determine that. I will say... Uh, on Eddie's photo for his net worth page, it's a photo of one of the models from his merch and not actually him. <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> so they they took the merch into account and they and they had me way lower still, not of my own net worth, but I mean compared to Ted's because I don't know what the fuck Ted's doing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what did Ted do, what did Ted do that we're not doing? Do. It's a second photo of also not Eddie. Not me. Okay, is there any photo of me on that page? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you been, like, gambling or something, Schlatt? I, I, don't... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it would have to be something publicly for all of us that they dipped into and didn't find, I mean, not didn't yeah. find much, but compared to Ted. I, I don't understand what I did to make them think that I'm fucking richy well, rich. I mean, congratulations, man. You're taking yeah, this all out. Wow. You're yeah, yeah all no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at houses. I'll just be looking at houses tomorrow. Also, you're nowhere near Richie Rich. He had a McDonald's in his house, so let's leave it at that. Really? Richie yeah. Rich is, was much more wealthy. He had than... the McDonald's in his house? Yes, he did in the Macaulay Culkin movie. Yes, he did have a McDonald's in his house. Why Ian, look that re- up. Why, why did you repeat that like that? Yes, he did. Yes, he did have because a McDonald's don't in the house. Yes, he did. you fucking put down the net worth of Richie Rich. He's a child and he's also rich. It's in his fucking name twice. God. <laughs> 
That would not fly these days. A movie no, like that. no, a movie of a kid that's obscenely wealthy and it's just like, hey, everyone, I'm, I'm Let rich. me flaunt that's, all I'm of cool, those things. <laughs> I'm a cool kid. I'm a cool kid. That's like such a not, like like late eighties, well, nineties cool, kind yeah. of thing of like just like that's kind of like what Home Alone is like. Oh, I could do whatever I want. Like yep. uh, like in the period before the fucking. Also, he's loaded in Home Alone as well. They have a extremely they have a nice, house. Really do, nice don't house, yeah. actually. The yeah. mom in Home Alone is suggested to be like a very successful, uh, like fashion designer. Well, yeah. Ooh, also, and her. and they're also raising like fucking like six kids yeah. too, and they're not. At, and like, they're the still same in that time. House. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, because they well definitely, even though I think it's suggested that the mom in Home Alone makes more. The dad in Home Alone has rich dad energy completely. Well, both he of them does. do because they like forgot that. their child at home. And so I feel like that's more of a class thing. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> to be they like, we're going on vac- we were kids. so concerned about the vacation, we forgot our child. Except it was that shithead kid's fault that the, I mean, their neighbor. They went to Paris. Oh, yeah, was that, that didn't... fuck with the kid? That, that fucking kid. The camera thing. Yeah, he dips his head into their van and is all nosy about everything, and they count him yeah. as Kevin. Oh. That kid ruined everything. That oh, kid shit. literally yep. was the source yep, yep. of all of their problems. Yeah. They went to Paris for Christmas, though. Yeah. Right? And then, well, I forgot. It's Paris and Florida. Is Paris the first one? I think it is, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, Florida. no, yeah, because uh, then they have to, like, the mom has to fly back yeah. and then get in the truck with get John truck, Candy, yep. which I fucking love that scene. It's so <laughs> funny. And I don't understand. Why did they not have, like, did they, didn't they have, like, any friends in town? Everyone was gone, and then also the phone lines went down. There was a little little divine intervention after he gets forgotten where some wind blows and the telephone lines go down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that Where, like, God this. was like, this kid's going to suffer. This, this kid, you know, <laughs> I got to teach day. him a lesson for being... A, like he didn't the, go to church, the the church. church. He didn't go to church on church. Easter and Christmas, yeah. but it's not even his fucking fault. It's justice for Kevin from Home Alone because not only is everyone in his family a dick to him, then when his mom goes to punish him, she like eggs him on, and she's going like, "Why don't you say that you fucking hate your family?" He's like, "Okay, yeah. I do," and she's like, "You know, you're gonna That's learn true. to regret that. You're gonna be terrified by two adult men trying to break <laughs> in the house and kill you." <laughs> I don't, th- you know, and I feel like when we were kids, we saw that movie and we were like, that'd be us. No fucking way. I'd die. I'd die, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Those, 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 nice. If, if that wasn't a comedy movie where they're stepping on nails and falling down stairs and getting hit with paint cans, those two would literally murder that child if you got far enough to burn an adult's hand with your doorknob you're they're gonna kill you oh yeah that's, that's about as far as you yeah. get yeah. unless you know you put a bunch of marbles they were gonna, in the hallway. they were gonna <laughs> right. they were gonna paint the walls with kevin's blood mm-hmm. if they could have they did it they at one point they decided like we're gonna kill that kid yeah they say it so out loud in the movie the sticky bandits the sticky bandits or the wet bandits the wet originally bandits. The and wet then the bandits. sticky bandits and the sticky yeah blood with blood what is yeah god home alone a movie that's we are whoa whoa holy shit what the fuck i look i i saw it when you it was at like a half an hour yeah i was thinking and that was like was, 20 minutes ago man i guess i'm just uh, a great host you are, hey, you thank you hey, again for having us on here. yeah no it's i guess my we pleasure. should end right. the episode but we've had 32 exactly 32 great episodes and this is i'm announcing this is my final one <laughs> Who are you going to have? Oh, you're oh. leaving. Yep. I'm oh. retiring as a host. I'm um, going back to my other podcast with Gus. Gus. That guy. Jesus Gus. Christ. I don't, mean to, I don't mean to pry, but do you need anyone to maybe take over after you're gone? Oh, this or? slot in the host? I yeah. don't think. I, th- I feel like the fans have been saying it's kind of like a seat you can't fill. And it's I, like. And that's fine. So I yeah. would suggest yeah. maybe keep the seat empty, keep the mic here, just so people don't get upset that you're trying to replace me in any way. Yeah. I'm kind yeah. of irreplaceable. They say I'm. <laughs> that's what I saw on Reddit. That's right. what they. Oh, and Reddit's always right. Yeah. Reddit has never been wrong about anything or any suspect of the Boston bombing or anything else. Reddit did that. They got the person wrong. Anyways, oh boy. <laughs> a seat that you can't fill. Wow. Well, the heart of the show is being ripped out now as we speak. That's unfortunate. Um, the zest. But, the zest you know, is being taken right out of the If they want to follow the zest, where can they find it? I think I'm I'm at Eddie Burback on like everything except for TikTok. I'm at Eddie Burback sixty nine because somebody took that nice. shit. Nice, very good. Um, but yeah, and then also the Gus and Eddie podcast. If you guys want to listen to a different podcast. And follow me, the host you love from this show, to a separate podcast. The Zest. Uh, any projects you've got working on right now that you want to plug? Anything uh, in particular? I'm always occasionally putting a video out or streaming on Twitch or, or doing podcasts and shit. Just kind of all cool. over. 
at Twitter verified and get them to verify uh, Eddie on Twitter. It's not going to happen. <laughs> get them to verify Eddie on Twitter. We'll oh, see. I feel that. Yep. I feel that. It's not happening for us. No, they don't not. like us. No, they don't. They, that you were I verified. did get verified. Yeah, you, got, I, you were verified, you and then you up. started saying that I you were the president of the United States. I started telling people said that I was the president of the United States. You flew to the Queen of England I threatened the Queen of England's life Your hubris. There Your you hubris go. got well, the better look, of you. Maybe, maybe I won't do it again. You threatened the Queen of England's life. Oh yeah, didn't you just tweet out like a? Did you tweet out a date? Hmm. So let's say it better like this: They interpret it as him. They might have interpreted it as as such. I don't think I did. It so it's an worrying <laughs> ambiguity yep. to a statement. I don't like think that. I did. <laughs> I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, thank you for having us on. Uh, it's it's going to be cold. It's going to be dark. It's going to be empty without you. So yes. we're excited for that. I agree with all those things. Eddie Burbeck, everyone. Peace out.